up you guys welcome back to my channel excuse my funny voice right now I am fighting allergies cold I'm not sure what's going on but I'm currently in California right now actually heading to an appointment here in Folsom I'm gonna be having some tests done um, for my body my heart conditioning metabolism all that stuff it is called DexaFit I'm here. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you, Scott. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Let's get started. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Can you just fill this up? Okay. So this is the first room. What are we doing yeah, in here? So this is the DEXA scan. Okay. And this is what was used in hospitals for years and years to track bone density. Okay. So it's a dual X-ray, very low-level X-ray machine. But DexaFit, when they started about seven years ago, they decided to make it so full body scan, so we can do body composition. Okay. You can see fat tissue, you can see muscle. Oh, you can see I'm density. excited <laughs> to know all of this. So this is the real deal. That I'm okay. Guessing. And so I get to see everything in my body. Everything. <laughs> I'm to take things off like rings, watches. You said hair clip. Yeah. Okay. That'd be good. And your shoes. Too. And shoes. <laughs> Okay, I get on the table. <laughs> really flat. So yeah, I'll put my hand here so you know where okay. to stop. Okay, that's good. good. Oh. Step. Now let's move you over just a little bit. Better. So this is this is like like in case I don't get crazy. Exactly. A lot of people <laughs> like to run away. Oh my god! Get out of here! You can't do this. Okay. Now with your hands, you're gonna put them in a uh, kind of like a karate chop. Okay. I guess. Good. Okay. okay. Looks good. Right, but you know when it clears your head, you can okay. talk, and then when it clears your hands, you can just relax on there. Okay. All right, you're going to hear it do a little positioning. All right, it's going to start. Get a little avatar of yourself with uh, all your okay. measurements, and it, it's oh, nice too. On, yeah. Like when you come back, you can see changes visually. It'll superimpose okay. one on top of the see other. See that? Hello! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! And then it'll uh, we upload the little avatar of yourself to the, okay. to the app too. So you can see it. And oh my gosh! And an email. This is so cool. <laughs> yeah, this is I am so one. intrigued right now. <laughs> okay, so I stand here first. Yeah. So I get set up. Line a camera and then pop up there. Okay. Ooh. Okay, now. Yep. And I'm holding just like this. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Scanning. Oh! Scanning. <laughs> oh, move. You can move. <laughs> oh, Lord. I know, this is going to be so funny <laughs> to is. see myself. Ah, <laughs> look at me. Oh, that is so crazy. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> this is so, just like, mind boggling. That's me as an avatar. <laughs> all those lines, it's got all your measurements. Yeah, oh my god, that's crazy. Wow. Pretty, pretty awesome. Pretty cool. Okay. So, okay. 144, 144 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> so that's official. There it is. <laughs> and that's the weight of your fat tissue. Okay. 30 pounds fat tissue. That's a lean tissue, 108.5. Lean tissue, 108.5. <laughs> Now this is your bone mineral content, so okay. that's the weight of your skeleton minus any marrow that's in there, or any oh, liquid, that type whoa. of thing, so all the dry parts of your skeleton. Five and a half pounds of dry skeleton. That's all that's holding you up right there. <laughs> that's holding me up together, <laughs> not keeping me together. <laughs> all right. Okay, 21%. All right, 21. so, and this is, that's real, that's not one of those fake, you know. Yeah, like yeah, exactly. So now you can see wow. here, University of Texas did this chart here. So you're 
Idea. You're straddling ideal and lean, okay. so that's a great place to be. Oh. <laughs> this girl's doing good Women. right now. Women. Right? We're, 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 on, we're on the right track. Okay, then we look over at symmetry here. Okay. And so this is uh, the muscle or the lean tissue in your arms. Almost in so back. Almost even. Yeah. yeah. Same with legs, almost yeah. identical there. Oh, that's, that's awesome. So very symmetrical, okay. that's great. We buddy. And then your pounds of fat, where where that is, mm -hmm. lean tissue, where that is, and bone mineral content. Oh, I love this. Throughout this the is whole so body. awesome. This is your android to gynoid ratio. Guys, we carry it in the fat and the uh, apple, you know, apple yeah. flavor. Okay. So it's yeah. here, which is the worst place you want to carry fat because yeah. then you get that dreaded visceral fat. Yes. It gets yeah. around your organs, messes with signaling mm. and the whole thing. Whereas most women tend to carry it in the pear yeah. shape, you know, yeah. thighs and buttocks. And okay. Stuff. I like to see the android to gynoid ratio below one. So okay. you're well below one there. Okay. So that's that's good. good. And your visceral fat is barely even there. Barely registers at 0.05 pounds there. So that's a good thing. 0.05? Oh <laughs> Ring the gong, Scott. Yeah, that's that's sound the gong. Seriously, yeah, that's yeah, nuts. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I mean, you're barely cushioning your organs, for God's sake. Oh. Well, this is so interesting, though, to know that about your body. You know, because we go off visual and buy those measurements. Right. And to have this like more detailed, like fine tuning it and being a nutritionist and being a person who is doing this for so long, going that much more in depth, it just gives a whole new perspective on just everything, you okay. know, and then how I'll be able to relate to my clients as well. Well, absolutely. That's that's oh, a beautiful thing. I mean, I so many this. people are just yeah. guessing. It's like, all right, here's, yeah, here's it's what it really most is. of it's uh, guessing. Straight there, that's good. Oh, yeah. And then this gives you a visual of uh, so red would be body fat, green would be lean tissue, so you can oh, see where yeah. it is, where, oh, it, is so where it's hiding. Look at this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Top of my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes, sometimes it takes care of it. And it yeah, right. Thing with it there. Well, you can see my calves. They're always the leanest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's hardly anything there. Okay, so now we look at that bone density that I mentioned. Okay. So you get a T-score. That is your T-score. So what that means is you're actually just a little bit out of the control group that uh, all age groups are measured against, which is women that are 20 to 30. Mm -hmm. okay. So at 30, that's when our bone density is its highest, right? Okay. So, and then you start doing the slide, and then you start sliding a little more and a little more. So the idea is you always you know, want to be doing things to maintain that. But, yeah. So your average 30-year-old woman would be at zero. Okay. If you were suffering from low bone mass or osteopenia, mm -hmm. you'd be negative one to negative 2.5. Okay. Now, if you go beyond negative 2.5, that's dreaded osteoporosis. Okay, it's starting to get worse. Okay. So I am opposite so, of that. Yeah, so you're actually up in this strange time. So, this is the next room, and this is going to be what, my new best friend? Yes, it is. <laughs> we're in this for a couple of different tests. Okay. Ooh. A little like Bane from Batman. <laughs> We're going to uh, be putting, connecting you to a little tube here that's connected to an O2 and a CO2 tank. So we're able to tell from your respiration exactly how many calories you burn while at rest mm -hmm. and what percentage of fat calories versus carb calories you burn in while at rest. So a lot of that is function of diet, it can be some hereditary, but yeah. it's good to know so you can, if you make tweaks to the yeah. diet, we can see a change. I see a lot of people that are doing keto that are mm -hmm. burning a lot of fat. Others that are just like, no, I live on carbs. And yeah. You can actually see it. Okay. I'm in here just kind of chilling. <laughs> Ideally, not on your phone, just mm -hmm. kind of meditating. Because <laughs> <laughs> right. we get weird readings when people start getting stressed from their phone. Yeah. <laughs> I do a lot of meditation, so. Okay, perfect. Okay, good. Right. Getting good readings.
You guys hear that? I'm a world-class relaxer. <laughs> <laughs> Very smooth. No, you know, you had a little trouble in the beginning, but yeah. not too bad for the most part. Based on height, weight, age, etc., it it gauged that you would probably burn 325 calories, 1,325 calories at rest. It's really 1,539. Mm -hmm. So you got a little, you got a couple hundred bonus calories there. <laughs> now this number here, uh, that's that tells us what you burn in terms of uh, fat versus carbs. So you're 0.87, so you're actually burning about 42.5% fat and about 57.5% carbs. Oh wow. So again, a lot of that's function of diet, yeah. can be heredity as well. So I'm more of a carb burner. Yeah, you actually okay. are carb dominant there. Okay. But you do have a fast metabolism, so right. you can get away with it. Fast metabolism, man. Eh? <laughs> Never too old. <laughs> <laughs> Point, okay. And then we'll, we're going to push you just a little bit harder. There. Okay. And this is for how long? Uh, it's usually eight to ten minutes. Okay. It kind of, kind of depends. We, yeah. On you, what, okay. what we get from you. And this is all automatic? Like it does it itself? Yeah, oh yeah, it'll be okay. automatic. Perfect. Started. It's gonna get real. <laughs> it's gonna get very real here. here is go. she ready? Alright, here we She's go. She's ready. Here it goes. Alexa, play running music. Alexa, play running music. She's off. Thirty-nine point one. So what does this all mean? So if you thirty-nine point one for my age. So you are just, just almost. Oh there. wow! And that's what you needed to get. To what? <laughs> I'm <head> cold. Almost <laughs> a superior. I blame it on this. <laughs> your overall, your max heart rate. Uh, you were up at one sixty-eight. Okay. Now for. Your fat burning zone, it's actually was a little higher than most people's are. Okay. It looked like it was up in the like 126 to 138. So what does that mean? So that means essentially, remember this number back here? Yeah. So we look for when you get into this area when yeah. you're when you're burning pure fat. Okay. And so mine for instance is like 105 to 115 so I okay can do, i can do a brisk walk yeah that. you need to work a little bit harder because right? uh, of the shape you're in yeah so that makes sense so but still it's not you know most people and what was my number you said uh, one your fat burning zone yeah. was about 126 to about 130. oh okay but it'll it'll, <laughs> it'll outline that yeah sheet. okay but most people we find out are working in this working out in this yeah. area, which isn't doing a whole lot for you. Yeah. Them, as opposed to doing some hip training where you're really working on your cardio when you're working on your heart health. Yeah. And then dialing it back and just doing fat burning type okay. of Okay. Okay. Your anaerobic threshold was actually uh, right about here. So really, I'd, I'd be pushing your heart to like 140, 145. Okay. For short intervals and then bringing it down okay. to work on your improve your VO2 max. Okay. And then, like I said, for your fat burning zone, pretty much one, I, I'd say 125 to 135. Okay, so I'm I'm best. always training high. <laughs> yeah, you probably are, you probably are. Look at them taking care of me. <laughs> Working hard. Got myself a cup of water. Got a nice little mask print. Yeah, I mean, it's all, print. Of, it's all of a shot glass of water. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you guys well, so you. much oh, for man. having me. It was so awesome to thank have you. Thank you, cameraman. You crushed it. <laughs> you crushed it. <laughs> and thank you You're welcome. for all your, You're welcome. your readings <laughs> and hanging out and rooting me on. <laughs> it was, was good. That was impressive. Very all right, impressive. guys, if you're here in Folsom at all, you gotta check out right here. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Come check them out. 
you guys won't be disappointed. I just wanted to recap on and why having this information can be really beneficial to not even just me, but to you as well. The majority of us spend a lot of hours trying to work out, restricting calories, and not seeing results. You go online, you read this, and it says this, and then you read that, and you're just overwhelmed and confused, and you're like, I, I just don't know if I'm even doing it correctly. By going and having these tests done, you're actually getting a more pr precise and pinpointing exactly what you need to do for you. You don't need to be an advanced athlete to do something like this. Beginner or advanced, the more information you have about yourself, the more successful you're gonna be. There's gonna be less questions, there's gonna be less confusion, taking a lot of the guesswork out of things. So you're gonna have a better understanding of your body type and your body composition and what's gonna work best for you. But it's also to know health-wise, inside your body, the health condition of those things. You can download their app, tests that you just took, it uploads everything in there and it's super easy to understand. You get to take it with you and you get to apply it to yourself. You're gonna be that much more successful in the direction that you wanna go. Hopefully you took a lot from this and this has inspired you in a lot of ways. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, like and subscribe. Your guys' support means so, so, so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and I will see you guys on the next video. Mwah!